What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we have another WTA event. We have a lot of WTA events this week. This one is called the Gippsland Trophy and it's in Melbourne of course. It's another new event on the calendar with the schedule being changed. They made this event up and this event's got some solid names. All right, the top quarter of the draw, like I said, the top 10 seeds get a buy. So Simona Halep, second round already. She'll play the winner of Osujwi or Potapova. So not a bad start there for Halep. She's got a good little start to her tournament. Then you've got Ayeva versus Piquet. The winner of that match will play the winner of Diaz or the number 16 seed Sigmund. So again, Halep, not a bad way to start. A couple of matches, definitely winnable for her. Then you've got the number nine seed Alexandrova. She'll play the winner of Schmedlova or Savinik in the second round. Then you've got Juvan versus Wang. The winner of that's going to play against the number six seed Sviontek. So straight away, you probably can tell. Quarterfinals, Fiontech versus Halep replay of the French Open where Fiontek just blew Halep off the court last year. She played incredible. So we have a potential rematch in the quarterfinals of this one. I can't wait to see that on a hard court as well. Second quarter of the draw, we got the number four seed, Sabalenka getting a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Sharma versus Kanepi. Then we have Buzanescu versus Kazakina. The winner of that's going to play the Gasparin or the number 15 seed, Hercog. So Sabalenka, who's in great form at the moment. She's on a massive win streak. Good start for her. Then you got the number 10 seed, Wang. She'll play the winner of Paulini or the Canadian Marino in the second round. Then you've got Habino versus Tormo. Winner of that match is going to play the number 8 seed, Machova, in the second round. So Sabalenka, pretty good draw for her. She's on a win streak. She won Abu Dhabi at the start of the year, and she's in a good part of the draw. But remember, once she makes the semifinals, she's going to have to face either Sviontek or Halep, potentially. So it's not going to get easier. Let's go to the top half of the bottom half now, and we got Mertens, the number 7 seed, by in the first round. She'll She'll play the winner of Lepchenko or Hibby in the second round. Then you've got Teague versus Babosh. Winner of that's going to play against Rodionova or the number 12 seed Garcia in the second round. Number 13 seed Ostapenko has Arani in the first round. Now that is a popcorn match. Fiery customer Arani and she used to be really, really good if you remember back in the day. Made a couple of Grand Slam finals. The winner of that match is going to play Kovinic or Zedensek in the second round. Then you've got Trevesan versus Petkovic. Winner of that's going to take on the number 3 seed Svetolina in the second round. So Svetolina, she had a pretty good end of last year. We'll see if she can regain that form at the start of 2021 before the Australian Open. And Mertens versus Svetolina, that is on paper the quarterfinal, but we all know WTA can cause massive upsets and anything could happen. This is a pretty unpredictable part of the draw. Then the bottom section of the draw, we have Joe Conte in the number five seed by in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Pera versus Gadecki in that second round. Then you've got Serenko versus Sasnovich. The winner of that's going to play the Gu or the number 11 seed Zheng. Then you got the 14 seed Golf versus Teichman in the first round. Winner of that's going to play against Kalinskaya or Bolter in the second round. Then another interesting first round match. You've got Cornet versus Tomjanovic. The winner of that's going to have to take on Naomi Osaka, the number two seed, the US Open champion. And you can probably tell there, third round matchup potentially between Goff and Osaka. They've had a couple of good matches in their early career. I mean, they're both still young. We know Goff's very young. Osaka is only early 22, and they've had some epics. They played the US Open a couple of years ago. They played the Australian Open last year. So they're starting to form a little bit of a rivalry, these two, and I can't wait to see another one in the third round. So there you have it. I think this one is probably the stronger tournament. We've got the number two, the number three playing in this one, and Sabalenka, who's absolutely on fire, and also Svetolina in this draw as well. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you have winning this? It's so hard for me to go past Sabalenka, but then she's got to take on Osaka and Halep just to get through. Also, Sviontek, how could we forget about her? I think I'm leaning towards Sabalenka. I think Sabalenka might win this one. But again, it's WTA. Anything could happen. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win. Another WTA event and a lot of good players playing in this one.